Alright. <laughs> What's poppin' people? We're back yet again with another good old fashioned PS Live. Today I've got more Decidui, but we're using a different set this time. We got Defunct Decidui. We also got just the third himself. That's Plot Talk Stroke. I've been using a Choice Scarf Token tomorrow, which I don't think I have used in a really long time, man. This mod is just kind of underwhelming. It's really kind of sad how it went from last gen to being one of the better options. It was never, it's, it was always going to be gate kept to some degree because Passimian, you know, was just better. You know, obviously this gen, there was no Passimian. And so at the beginning, it was maybe A rank? No, I think it may have been A minus rank just for like several, several months. But recently, people have really just been a lot less high on it. People have been much <sighs> less willing to put it on teams, I think is what I want to say there. Because it's just so hard to justify a lot of the time when it's walled by so many Pokemon, it means it's really kind of actually hard to revenge kill things. And it's also just not very strong. So, it's not that good of a revenge killer. So, we get a lead off against Frost House. I'm just going to hope to flinch him here. Um, we don't get a flinch, but for some reason he taunts. Actually, no, I know the reason he taunted. Apparently, this account has no elo? Oh, I thought I had lighted a little bit with this one. Oh well, whatever. We do end up just getting rid of the Frost House immediately, which is good. Which is good. There's honestly, like, so little benefit <laughs> to letting that thing spike up versus me. Alright, he goes Thwacky here. I could go Croak. Oh, he's also Grassy Seed. Okay, I should actually go Weezing then. Oh, I see. Um. Hmm. I could Wisp of this, but I feel like Sludge Bombing's probably the better play. Because I think I'll end up self KOing versus me. Yeah. Alright, cool. I don't know if Sludge Bomb kills from full. I don't really know how good Thwacky's bulk is if you don't have a Violite on it. But there we go. Not bad, not bad. And look at the rest of his team. Uh, I don't see anything as too threatening. Uh, this could be. This could be, depending on what set he has. I'll go out Togo Tomaru because there's nothing this thing can do to me to threaten me. Oh, I see. He's going to go for Calm Mind. Well, fortunately, I am Toxic Togo Tomaru, so I will very happily go for that. <laughs> oh, he stored power. I see. I see. Yeah. <laughs> And he's just going for more Calm Minds help. Um, I'm actually going for Estos. Because I don't want this thing to stick around for very long. Oh, I'm even faster than this? Wait, I can just Milk Drink up here then. Not bad! I mean, I'd like Milk Tank around just because the immunity to grass is cool. But it's not necessary. I must even throw up rocks here. I think I can afford to play a little bit around this. Here's another stored power. What? Oh wait, that was always doing like 70. Okay, that's just also a high roll. Um, we're gonna try to milk drink here. Nice. So we can't keep Miltech around. That's just nice. I don't think Flapple has the ability to actually do anything, especially because he lost Grassy Terrain, and I'm assuming this was Grassy Glide. Although, it might have not been. I don't know. But yeah, I think we've got ourselves in a prime position to win at this point. I don't see a win condition for my opponent. Even Toga Tomorrow looks like it can clean at this point, which is kind of funny. I got Weezing to like be able to deal with this. Ah, not bad. We just sack this. I'll go for Milk Drink if he like chokes Royal here, I guess. May as well get that back to full. And he does flip turn. He's Life Orb. Okay. That's not too big a deal, I don't think. Um, here we just go wheezing, and we fire up a Sludge Bomb, as he has absolutely nothing to take Sludge Bomb. Not bad. That's very free. Nice and free Sludge Bomb. Oh, he is Substitute. Yeah, I do not know what that means. <laughs> Are you, like, unburdened with a Pinch Berry? Uh, he might be. He's He is flinching. I want to keep this around. I don't think there's really anything you can do about me switching into my alchemy here, so, you know. Like, if he's Dark Pulse, he's 
definitely not got gunk shot. And if he does have gunk shot, well then, I, I mean, I got played at that point. Yeah, we're not seeing an item, so he must be like unburdened with, I'm guessing, Pattaya Berry? I guess? I don't know. Whatever it is, it's not very good. <laughs> I mean, I'm gonna just, I'm gonna call it like it is. It's not very good, guys. There's a Bascule in here. Um, I'm gonna recover. I wanna see what this thing wants to do. Or do I keep this at full? I mean, I'm not faster than Flapple if he's jolly, so I guess we can just go for recover here. Oh, he just, that just KOs. Wow. Um, we got to this then? And we're gonna U-turn? Mostly because if he goes Flapple on a predicted Zing Zap, I do not want to lose the game. And yeah, there we go. We have one, I think. Right? I don't see how he'd reposition at this point. Yep. Oh. <laughs> I mean, if he's gonna forfeit, then yeah, we do just win, is don't we? Not bad. Let's get another one. Alright, so... I guess I could also just talk about, like, the VR for Inu right now. So honestly, I don't think anything's underranked at all. Maybe I talked about this in the last PS Live, I really don't remember. But I don't think anything's underranked on the VR at the moment, surprisingly enough. I know there's a lot of hype around Ninjask at the moment. Some people think that it's grossly underrated. Some people think that the VR Council should have voted it higher. And to that I say, no. I disagree. I do not believe Ninjask is as good as it is made out to be. I think Ninjask has insane late game potential. And it can put a pretty large strain on, like, not the builder, but on the, like, game. So, when we talk about strains on the tier, I think they're generally considered to be a strain on the builder. You could talk about, like, a Pokemon's difficult to prep for, such as, like, Toxicroak. I think it's a very hard Pokemon to build for. It's mostly a Pokemon that you play against in the... Like, it's mostly a Pokemon that you build with the actual game in hand more, and you develop game plans around it. You don't just try to say it. It's not as simple as just, oh, this Pokemon walls it. It's mostly something you figure out as you're playing. Like, okay, how am I going to deal with this? But I think Ninjask more is one that's super easy to deal with in the Builder. Like, it, it is not a hard Pokemon to have a good matchup with from a team building perspective. But it is somewhat difficult, I think, at times to have a great matchup in the actual game itself. Because Ninjask does exert a lot of late game pressure because of speed boost and U turn being so free for it to click throughout a game. I mean, other than that though, I think most people are pretty dead set on everything being at a fine ranking in terms of is it high enough up on the VR? And it's just a lot of just, just still being very highly ranked Pokemon. I'd have to open the VR to get a whole bunch of examples, but two that come to mind are like Rapidash and Lipard which are still sitting in like A-, minus, despite them having not seen significant usage in a very long time. Alright, so he doesn't have a Cursula. Do I just calm mind up? No, because he's got a Garbodor. Maybe we just go Bill Tank here then. That's fine. Main problem is he's got this Hitmontop. on top. Yeah, it's just going to be generally annoying. Hitmontop's on top's another Pokemon that we did like unrank on the VR recently, and I'm very happy that we did that because it's so bad. But the low ladder really loves it. Like, they absolutely fawn over this thing. Okay, so I guess he's like... I'm guessing he's Sash Cursula. I'm not toxic here, because I don't lose anything for doing it. And I think he might go hit him on top. People really like to spin when they get a chance to, I've noticed. With their hit him on tops. He actually goes Garbodor, which is not at all what I was expecting. Huh. I mean, I can go Weezing here, right? Oh, I'm gonna have to defog. Oof, 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 oof. Good thing I am Psybeam. That did 30. <laughs> that did 30, bro. Come on. Fortunately, his Cursula is just not a useful Pokemon. Mm. Yeah, we just built Jake up here. He probably goes Garbodor again. Yeah. yeah we can S Toss here. Yeah, I'm gonna try to get rid of this Garbodor. I do not need, like I don't like the fact that Miltank's now super low, obviously. That sucks. 
but Garbodor was very annoying for me to deal with. He's gonna spin here. I'm gonna go into Decidueye. He actually just goes for CC. I am fast. No, it's a speed tie, but we dodge the triple axle. That is so good. I forgot. And then he gets a one hit. Wow. That is just that is just dire for him. I'll go mill tank here. Yeah, I'm gonna go mill tank here. Because I need to get that back up to a good amount of health. I Yeah, do I really need to get it up to a good amount of health? Because I can actually just stay at Sludge Bomb here. Just to get a little bit more chip on this, and then I can go mill tank. And play it out from there. This goes for Shadow Ball. I I don't know why. Yeah, there we go. Ursula actually had a million Hydro Pump, so I guess that's what he gets for landing all of his Hydros. Get some bad triple axe luck. Oh, this is Life Orb hit on top, so we can actually whittle that away pretty effectively. Cool. Um, you're gonna CC, you're gonna triple axle here. Because he doubles into this. That's not very impactful. Okay, so I guess this is Unburdened. And he's also got a bad HP number, so cool. He was Throat Spray and he kept using Substitute for some reason? Question mark, exclamation point? Yeah, I, I, yeah, maybe I should, listen, if I had known this account was very low on the ladder, I would hopped on a different account, because I think we could have gotten a, a little bit higher quality of battles. I have seen this team before, right? Right? This is the team Joey used in a recent live, I think. I believe it's Throat Spray of Selgor. And this is Silvalli Grass. Okay. Well, one thing I notice is that if I get rid of the Toxicroak, I actually just win with Alchemy. There's very little that he can do about that. He's got... I mean, I'd like to get some Chip on Golurk too, probably. I guess this could Toxic Stall some, but eh. What do I want to lead with, though, is the, bigger, is the better question. I think Decidueye is a fine lead overall. Yeah, because we can get this match up here. And this is Culperberry, I believe. Or do I U-turn here? I think we U-turn. Eh. So I Leaf Storm. And he goes into this, it doesn't matter. If he goes out to Croak, that's a little bit more annoying, but that's still Chip. Oh, and if he goes out to this, that's just great. <laughs> that, now that, that's what we call a W. I will gladly take that exchange, and we go Weezing versus this at this point. I don't know what his immediate switch into Weezing is on his team. Hmm. Yeah, also, just for clarity again, Psybeam on Weezing, I only have it on teams because Toxicroak is very common, and eh, it's nice to have that little extra bit of counterplay. I think Psybeam overall is an awful move on this Pokemon, but... Eh, a little extra insurance never hurt. No, you know. Again, I'm like Spadef Weezing too, so... I may as well make as much use out of it as I can. If we do lose Toxicroak next shift, I will definitely just start running Fizdef Weezing again. And I will definitely just... Start putting all of my... Investment into... What's it called? Into Fizdef. And I will probably run like Pain Split Blast or two spikes. So he does go for the Bug Buzz here. I taunted him because I know this is what's it called? He's got like spikes and recover. Let's see. Yeah, we got the CM up now. This thing can't really do anything. <laughs> so if we could just force him out, that's good. He's willing to just stay in with the Aselgor? Okay. Sure. This isn't making headway versus my team. And I would like to keep this at a good amount of health just because it has such a good matchup into him. He goes Lantern there. That's fine. You can go to my Croak here. Yeah, he does Bolt Switch there, but eh. I knew he was gonna bolt because Decidueye, if anything, was really likely, although I feel like in that case, I would've toxic Because he goes his own croak. Now, how much- Do I feel that getting chip on his croak is worth my own croak's health? I don't- What does croak do for me? It helps beat up on Grass Valley, I'm sure it says Psychic Fangs, I think you need to have that. 
It is a water immunity. It can kind of draw this in and hit it hard with its Shadow Ball. Um, I honestly think that it's worth the trade. Focus Blast is stronger, but I am going to go for Shadow Ball. As he immediately plots up. Is this Vacuum Wave then? Well, he wins the next speed tie. I'm going to go into Weezing, because I'm pretty sure I live a hit from this, at this range. I hope I live a hit. Alright, cool. <laughs> there you go. See, that's why we run Psy Beam. What you gonna do with the Psy Beam Weezing comes for you. We're out here teching for these fools. I'm gonna just stay in and sack this. Probably just chaos move Poltergeist here. That's fine. Had he missed, I would have burned him. Now I can go to Sidui, and I'm gonna U-turn because he's not gonna stay in. If you stay in, you're a fool. Yup. Plus he had that to sack, so it's like... Is there really any reason for him to stay in there? Nah. The Golurk could still win up the game. I... this is Colbert Golurk. I don't really have a great Mon to deal with this. I'm gonna go to Sidui here because he's gonna go for CC. He poltergeisted. Alright. I think that was a pretty bad play. Because I could have just stayed in the toxic, because it's not like you. I don't know. Do you threaten with an Oko? Probably. Hmm. This game got very hard now. I think we might have just lost. Not gonna lie. He was the lantern. Yeah, like I said, this Golurk was gonna be a little bit annoying. We do get the recover off. Get this in. Do I want rocks up? I think if anything, we toxic here. He has to switch. He goes up to this. I'm over. Mm, do I predict knock or toxic here? All right, so we predicted knock there. I'm gonna go Togedemar predicting toxic. This play is pretty low drawback anyway. Yeah. So the reason that play is okay for it to be Meg is because if he knocks again, it doesn't matter. This thing is fainting that turn anyway. And we can U-turn here for a lot of chip. Maybe on top? No, not toxic. Okay, he actually goes for that. I'm gonna milk drink. This needs to be at full health to be able to have any chance of doing anything. I honestly, I also was trying to <laughs> cancel that and go for toxic. He's dynamic punch. Okay. Um, I have to go out for me here. I recovered there because I thought he'd go lantern. I'm not too sure why he stayed in. I think he recover again because I'm fine with a double down. And he has to preserve Golurk, I think. So I believe recovers in my best interests. He should switch. Because then he still has potentially two turns. Okay, he stayed in. I think that was a misplay, but it doesn't hurt me too much. We actually dodge a Toxic there. That's really crucial. Um, yeah, I need to spam Seismic versus this. to milk drink here as he goes grass valley right hmm. yeah okay hmm. maybe i should have milk drinked okay actually no, it's fine all right cool i don't know if that line was a line i needed to make What turn was that? I actually want to go back and look at that. Um, 32. So let's go back to this area of the battle. Alright, so we seismic. Alright, we have to do last turn. It gets a little bit glitchy around if you quickly skip turns. 
Alright, so on turn 30, we see that their heal bell. So this is where we start spamming Seismic. He Toxics. And we Seismic again. Okay, so now this is the turn that we were thinking about. Alright, and then we're taken down here. So, if I were to stay in Seismic as this thing came in. Okay, yeah, I think I should have just seismic tier anyway. I think going to Togedomaru risked the game. Yeah, okay, so yeah, seismic was a better play. Going Togedomaru risked the game, because if I got burned, I think I lost. And if he stayed, you know, if he just stayed in. Because if we see this... Okay, no, he, he wasn't recovering health. Or no, he leftovers already have gone that turn. Yeah, going Togedomaru here does risk him getting back his lantern into a favorable position by Skull Burning Me. I mean, I did read the Silvalli Grass, so it didn't cost me, but yeah, I think we just S-Toss there and then we double U-turn because this thing, if it switches out with, as we see it does, it would have still been only at 9%. And I think Miltank size of Game also just KO'd that anyway. Alright. Well, that was a bit of a bad play. However, we won. <laughs> and so that's all I can really say. That's gonna be it for this live, I think. Um, sorry for that I got games at the low, lower end of the ladder. They probably would have been a little bit higher quality, at least, if I'd gone higher. In terms of this team, honestly, there might... I think there's reason to make Weezing... I don't know, Weezing's physical bulk is already really good. Originally, the Alchemy was a bulkier variant with a lot of defense. But then I felt the team was kind of passive, because Scarf Togedomaru is really weak, and just Defog Decidueye isn't very strong either. So it was really like the team, re the team relied a lot on Toxicroak to do much of anything. And I... Eh... Eh... I don't want the entire team's offensive presence to be centered around one Pokemon. I think that's kind of... I think that's asking for bad games to come up. At least by having Alchemy be offensive too, it's more likely that I have more good matchups pop up. Maybe there are games in which Croak's a little bit worse that Alchemy can shine in and vice versa. But anyhow guys, that's it for me. Um, earlier today there should have been an episode of Flora Sky. If you don't watch that series, I recommend that you do. It is pretty fun and it's also a lot more casual than these videos, which I think is a nice change of pace. There'll be another episode of that coming out tomorrow. You know, guys, I'll see you guys. <laughs> Fuck. That's it for me. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.